Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing the trade that I promised you yesterday as my uh, TFSA is doing pretty, pretty well. The only one not doing terribly well is my Canadian Imperial Bank, but because I don't see too much crazy explosive growth in this one as much as I do in MO, I am just going to lever down a little bit in this position. Nothing too crazy, of course, but we're going to do that right now just to show you guys exactly how this works. So we're going to look at selling some shares in some CM. Canadian Imperial Bank, and we're not selling a lot because I am not willing to take a huge loss on this guy, and I do enjoy those dividends. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sell a whopping, that's right, a whopping 25 shares, which is the equivalent of about $2,500, and we're going to go market, uh, da, 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 da. we're going to go sell, yep, market day preview, I already got my access code in there, definitely don't remember that, I don't want you guys doing your trades for me, which is about $2,752, and we're going to go bada bing. Bada boom, submit that. And then let's just take a look. That money should be in the account now. There you go. Now we got about $2,951, bringing this position down slightly. You'll notice that uh, the loss hasn't really come down that much. I took, what, a $100 loss, nothing crazy. And I'm going to leave that there for in perpetuity, pretty much forever. I don't ever plan on selling the rest of that Canadian Imperial Bank. But what we're looking at is this juicy company right here that I think is severely undervalued. We're looking at MO, the one that I can't shut up about. So let's just take a quick peek at these. Now, what I'm going to do is try and show you guys, and I haven't done this in a little bit because I haven't done too many trades. So what we want to do is take these Canadian dollars and convert them over into the U.S. position. And the way we do that is I do believe we go into transfers. And then what we're going to do is we want to go registered with the withdrawals and currency conversions. We're going to come in here, and this is where things are going to get a little confusion, confusing. So we're going to go to currency conversions, and I haven't done this in a little bit, so just bear with me here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the TFSA, which we can see right here. And I don't think we're going to be able to do this yet. Um, that's not... That's not fun. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can actually do it until the trade finalizes. That's kind of heartbreaking, really. Um, I just noticed that now because if we go into the basically the CAD account, it's only going to show me that I have $35 and we want to transfer it to the US dollar. And what we do is put in the 25 or the 2700 CAD. It's not going to let me do this. If we go to the 2700 CAD and it's going to say that I don't have enough in the account. That's annoying. I just realized that you can't do currency conversions until these trades settle, which takes two to three business days. So I guess I will be updating this video in two to three business days while this money just sits here and doesn't do much for me. Um, I'm not too ashamed at losing out on $2,500 in this uh, position because I do enjoy uh, the position that I currently hold in Canadian Imperial Bank. This is something I've been meaning to do for a while. And it, honestly, I'm a little bombarded by this because I know if you're just using a regular basic trading account when you do sell off a position it goes into basically um, what's the term for it it's not like margin but essentially while the trade finalizes they let you spend the money anyways um, if I were to just use this money in CAD dollars or just trade it right now it would let me trade it but if I want to do a currency conversion on it apparently I have to wait until the entire thing gets settled which like I said takes two to three business days and this is something I know a lot of you wanted to see. So I'm going to have to come back to this and update you on that because I completely forgot about that trying to make this video for you. So in light of that, uh, I'm not going to talk about too much stocks today because we know they're all up. There is a lot of positions up today, which is really, really nice. But what I want to show you guys today um, is a video that I posted uh, promoting my show. It's the final ad that I will be running for the History of Magic that I am performing on Thursday. And in fact, I'm going to be getting ready for that show most of today and working on a bunch of other stuff. And if you go onto the website here, we'll see how the tickets are selling. Um, so this is how much of the theater we have filled so far. It's nothing substantially crazy, but I mean, it's a heck of a good start for the first show that I've ever done. I'm trying to get more tickets picked up today so I can fill out a few more of these extra seats. And then what I'm going to do is go out and try and do some promotions between today or hopefully this evening and tomorrow and see if we can't get a few more of these filled. Uh, I got most of the theater paid for with these seats sold, so I'm not really making any money on this whatsoever. In fact, I'll probably be losing money with the ads and everything else going on. But the reason I'm doing this show is to try and get my name out there. And my good golly, it's been doing a lot of that for me. And I want to show you the ad video that I'm running right now because I think I did quite a good job on this last night while I was finishing up some of my other work, but take a look at this video. I think this is a fabulous, fab. Since the beginning of time, there's only been those who believe and those who don't. 
Throughout our history, we have seen it inscribed about on pyramid walls, and modern cinema wouldn't even exist without it. But whether you believe in it or not, we all have to ask ourselves this one question. How does one truly define magic? Identifying. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, he's been quoted the next illusionist of our time from performing his master stage illusions for some of the biggest companies in Canada to extreme stunts and even hypnotism. Please put your hands together for Kyle Livingston. Not bad, right? I worked really hard on that last night. Uh, it's a cool little ad video that uh, is a great promotional tool as well. And maybe I can even show you that this... Sorry, I'm coming back to this already. I just want to... I'm kind of annoyed by this because I know for sure that... Let's say I were to rebuy my CM shares back and I were to select the account, I know it would say, look, I have a buying power of $2,797. I know I can trade this right away on margin, and it's not like you pay any extra for that. It's just they know that you're going to get sold. They know that the shares are sold. It's just the transfer aspect of it. So if I do go back into transfers, it's not going to show me that that's money, that money's there, but it'll show me that it's in the account if I wanted to trade in Canadian dollars. But I'm not willing to buy cm and have it convert when i can just do a registered currency conversion which is what we need to do to make this work properly and of course it's going to show me that that money doesn't exist in these accounts um, other than that maybe we can just take a quick peek at some of the other accounts we'll start by seeing what's doing great today uh, and obviously i'm going to imagine the index is up because i've seen a lot of green today and the overall portfolio is up quite healthily and if we take a quick peek here guys uh, what can we see is going on bti is doing okay in here I have mean, nothing really going on in here, but I think it's just mainly in my tax free savings account because we have a nice little gain on this and we can see that uh, most of the positions are doing pretty well. Apple was up quite nicely. I saw that Microsoft was back over that 140 today. Uh, this is still midday, guys, so there's not much else I can say about it. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below about all of this. I am going to be purchasing MO shares with this money. It'll be the final MO shares that I will be purchasing, and it'll be my long-term hold position. And in my managed account, I am going to be leveraging these down by the end of the year. But for right now, I am extremely happy holding these positions as they are. I do enjoy making these my largest positions at their current price. Uh, I thought I was getting a great discount at $48 a share, but where it sits today, is just mind-boggling and like I said fake news blows over it kind of reminds me of the Chipotle thing when people were getting sick and that was real news like when Chipotle took a, a bit of a tanker there that was because people were actually getting salmonella poisoning from their food and I know people that were buying the stock at the bottoms and have done exceptionally well and this isn't even related to to the product that is causing these issues, which is the craziest thing. It's the definition of fake news. And actually on Facebook, and it's not gonna make much of a difference here because it's probably not gonna come up, but there was all these stupid, fake, jewel-like people trying to do lawsuits. There's a girl sitting in a bed, not saying that a jewel didn't cause that, but I couldn't imagine that she was smoking some other kind of products. And they were trying to make it so you could sue Jewel, I don't think it's going to come up again, but it was coming up like crazy over the last few days. If I scroll through here on my Facebook, I don't think it's going to pop up again. But I don't know, can I even search Jewel? What happens if I search Jewel on here? Let's see what's going on with their Facebook page. Do they even have a Facebook page? Jewel Vape. Let's just take a look and see what comes up here. Uh, using Jewel, uh, this is the ad right here that I'm talking about. Uh, yesterday when I was on here looking at this, man, I was just flabbered. Um, that, uh, I don't, I just, like, I gotta look deeper into this stuff, but like I said, guys, I just, from a personal vaping experience, I don't think this is what it causes, but I want to start no vaping campaign. Stop vaping, everybody. Stop using something that can help you quit cigarettes. Oh, this is horrible because you can see her sitting in this bed with tubes in her throat. I mean, I feel bad for her, obviously, obviously. I mean, I'm not trying to be a complete prick here, but I don't like these smear campaigns, especially when they're not... Um, geared toward, again, the right products causing the problems because there's only been about 500 incidences of people having vape issues. That is extremely localized for the large amount of people that vape. And this has only been a recent issue. So I really hope they start actually posting real news about what's causing these problems. Did you or your child use Juul and are now experiencing health problems? Uh, were you using that Juul battery pack to smoke illegal products that you were buying from illegal distributors that accidentally used fake chemicals that caused issues? I don't know, but no one's really saying that. But I think that's what the news is. 
uh, e-cigarettes used by teens called Epidemic. Though Juul's makers advertise it is a safe alternative to regular cigarettes, a university literally says it's 95% safer. Doctors have been saying there's a health, okay, in Canada here, there is a heart surgeon that opened up a vape shop called 380, I think it's 380 Vape Shop. Uh, maybe I can look that up real quick is what I'm pretty sure it's called, 380 Vape. Or is it 360? It's 360 vape, isn't it? No, it's 380 vape. So a heart surgeon actually, or yeah, yeah, it should be this one. So a heart surgeon opened up these shops in Toronto because he knew that it wasn't causing, it was causing way less issues than cigarettes. This So a, an actual heart surgeon opened up this shop and he's become quite a, a pretty large brand overall, uh, which is really, really interesting. Um, but just like I said, guys, just absolutely ridiculous. Jewel called more addictive than cigarettes. I severely disagree with that. The stupid slander fucking I want to call this and just see who the hell these people are and be like wow are you guys like those injury law injury law lawyers that chase after you when you have an accident anyways guys quick video update today stay cool stay awesome I look forward to chatting to you real soon